Hello everyone, you welcome back to Science Arena Academy. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at one of the major properties of light that's found application in our daily life, which is what reflection of light. All together, now the other property is refraction, which will be what next video that we are doing now. For now, we are going to be taking a look at reflection and what do you need to know as we have been doing this for some lot time now. What do you need to know about this so that you can ache and you can ache your watch jam and stop eye in your jam. Thank you so much. If you are new to this my channel, don't forget. Look at me very well. Just take some seconds to just click on the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel and click on the like button. You can drop a comment for me. You can say, Sasha Arena, I like you. Sasha Arena, anything you like to tell Sasha Arena, I'm here to watch. Respond to you. Thank you so much. Share the video. Let's move on. I'll talk about reflection. Reflection simply means the change in the path of light wave when it meets an opaque material. It isn't composite to be an opaque material. It can also be a transparent material. So far, the light can be what change the path of the light can be changed. Are you getting something? When it meets a boundary of a material, it is known as what reflection. All together. Now we can have. Your mirror, your mirror can also what reflect light wave. Most of our mirror reflects light wave. We can, you know, I'll talk about mirror. A mirror is always formulated when you have a glass. You know, a glass is a transparent material, and a glass can allow light to pass through it completely. But if the glass is being shaded or it is colored, it is painted at the back. One side of the glass is painted, while the other side is what left like that. Then the glass will become a mirror. To become a mirror. I want to get out of me like that. We are coming back to that completely. Up here on me like this. Now, if light is now coming into the glass like this, at an angle to the glass, the light tends to what return back at what another angle. All together, this is what we call reflection of light. It's called reflection of light. Now, reflection can be of two types, depends on the kind of material that we have, the kind of substance that the light is meeting. That's what was. reflection can be classified into two. We have what we call the regular reflection and we have what we call a diffuse reflection. Now, a regular reflection is a kind of reflection that takes place on a smooth surface. All together, now I want you to note something about in real life, no surface is ever smooth. Every surface has just a tiny particles of tiny particles on it, which might scatter the part, which might scatter the part of light. I'll take it on like that. So we have a regular reflection which can only take place on a smooth surface and we have a diffuse reflection. A diffuse reflection is a kind of a reflection that can take place on a rough surface. Rough surface. Now, take a look at this. Now, you see, in this kind of surface like this, if I have something like this, of this kind here, now, the diffuse reflection can take place like this whenever you have us, something of this kind that will reflecting in different direction at different angle. Now, this is diffuse. Have you ever think about something that was the page of your book is always rough? Now, majorly when you touch the page of your book, it is smoother in what in surface it is kind of smooth. But do you know that all the written text that is found in your book are due to what electron particles? The electron particles which make the surface of the book to be rough. Now, when light ray is coming in contact with the surface of your book, what happens? It is reflecting each, each letter that is found on the surface. Are you getting it? So each of these letters that is found on the surface of your book makes the surface of your book to be what? Diffuse to be what? Rough surface. So the kind of reflection that will take place on the surface of our book is a diffuse reflection. Without diffuse reflection, in the night, we, we are unable to read except we find our flashlight. So when there is flashlight, the lights tend to reflect all the words let us into our eyes. So we see majorly by diffuse reflection. If the surface is, is a smooth surface, then the eye might get blind. Are you getting why? Because the, light, the, the ray of light will be directed into the eye, which might cause the light eye to go blind completely. All together. So majorly we see with what a diffuse reflection of light. Now let's take a look at laws of reflection. There are some laws that are guiding what reflection, but that law only holds for Regular reflection. Now we get something now. The law only holds for what? Regular reflection. Now, the two laws of reflection that we have are being stated by scientists. Now, 
if I have a smooth surface, it's got um, you know, it's a reflection will take place on what smooth surface. So, talking about a regular reflection, the first law states that what the angle of incidence. Now, once said angle of incidence, let me show you something here. This is what we call a norma. A norma is a line that is perpendicular to the what smooth surface. A line perpendicular to the, to the surface is known as what a norma. Now, according to the first law of reflection, it states, it states that the angle between the norma and the incident tray. The incident tray is a ray that is coming directly from a source of light, while the reflected ray is a ray that is coming from the surface. Altogether. Now, this is the reflected ray, reflected ray and incident ray. Altogether. So, according to the law of reflection, it said the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal. This is the normal to the surface. And the normal all lies on the same plane. Now, if I take a look at this, I can use this to formulate a plane. So, the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal lies on the same plane. That is the first law of reflection. Now, the second law of reflection is just the law that is talking about something important, which is talking about the angle. Angle. Now, the angle, you know, an angle is always formed when two lines meet each other. They formulate an angle. According to the second law, it said the words. Now, look up. This is the normal, this is the incident. It said the angle between the normal and the incident ray, which is taken as angle of incidence, let's take it as I, H, I. This I means the angle between the normal and the incident, that is the angle of incidence, is equal to the angle between the normal and the reflection, reflected ray, which is the angle of reflection. What does it say? It said the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, I and R. Angle reflection. The second verse in was I equals to R. That means no matter how the, sub, the reflection will take place, if the surface still remains smooth, if the surface still remains smooth, it simply shows that the angle of incidence between this normal and the incidence must be equal to the angle of reflection between the reflected ray and the normal. I will take it out like that. So my I equals to R. Thank you for that answer. That was no way. The next time you need to talk about scientists, they discover something. Just that they discovered everything completely. I didn't even know what John was doing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also drop a comment for me. Your comment is highly important. I want to see those are first ten people to drop a comment for me. I want to see something. I think we get something much important. A giveaway for the first ten people to drop a comment for me in the comment box section below. Thank you so much. Share the video with your friend. Thanks.